everyone, this is Love Always Indoors. Welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of my previous hair regimen versus my current regimen. I want you to all kind of get an idea of how things have changed for me since I've cut my hair. So first off, I have a list here. I hope you don't mind if I look at my list. So in relation to my old regimen, I just kind of want to break down um, my co-washes, my shampoos, my trims, my coloring, and my flat ironing. Okay, um, I used to co-wash every other weekend, so basically every two weeks, and then every other, other, other wash was a shampoo. So every six weeks I was shampooing, every two weeks I was co-washing. Um, I deep conditioned every single time I washed my hair, um, the full gambit, and I did a hot oil treatment every single time I washed my hair. I used to get my trims every season, so four times a year, so every three months. And I got my color done every two years and my flat ironing done every one year. I know it sounds really complicated, but as you know, if you get into a regimen for hair, it's really not that big of a deal to kind of have things all set. So that's basically it for my old regimen. Um, I think the only thing I would have done differently would probably be my color. Um, I, I know why I chose to get my hair colored every two years or every other year, but honestly, it just started looking really bad in my opinion. Like, cause I usually would go blonde, like I'm talking golden blonde, and my hair is naturally dark, dark, dark brown. So there was always this very stark contrast between my new growth and the hair that had been dyed. And I just feel like it actually just started looking kind of raggedy. To be honest, like looking back on it and thinking about it, my hair always was styled well, but I just feel like I should have done a better job of keeping up with my coloring so that it didn't always look like I was just hadn't gotten it colored in two years because that's honestly what it was. So um, I'm gonna tell you what my regimen's gonna be now. I'm gonna tell you my plan for color because I'm excited. Like I'm really dying to get color in my hair. Ha, ha, no pun intended. Dying, get it, get it. Um, I'm, I'm excited to get color in my hair, y'all. Like I just feel like I'm supposed to be blonde. I know I wasn't born a blonde, but like I'm supposed to be artificially blonde. That's supposed to be me. So I didn't color it right away once I cut it because I didn't feel like it was gonna be the healthiest thing for my hair. My hair's been through a lot over the past couple of months. It's recovering from being, my hair has come a long way. When I was sick, I didn't touch my hair for two months. It was a matted, dry mess. Then once I actually got it styled, my mom helped me to detangle it whew, and, and comb through it and moisturize it and deep condition it and I started feeling better and so I started at least oiling it at night and putting a headscarf on and stuff and then it started falling out so it was just like you know and then I was wearing a wig and it was just a lot going on so um, I didn't think it was a good idea to dye my hair then but this is gonna be my upcoming new regimen I currently wash every day co-wash um, this is a wash and go I'm sure when I get to a certain length and I'm no longer able to use the sponge that'll change but for now I co-wash every single day I shampoo once a week. That's honestly because I swim once a week. I think if I wasn't swimming once a week, I probably would shampoo every two weeks. But I do swim on Thursdays, aqua challenge, woo woo. Um, and then that is where I, that is why I shampoo. And trims, I will start to get my trims every season again, every three months. But for now, I was told to wait um, till my six month mark. So basically I'm supposed to skip a trim because my hairstylist told me if I'm trying to grow my hair out, um, it's important for me to not trim it right away while it's so incredibly short. So, yeah. And I also haven't decided if I'm keeping my hair short or not. This That's a whole story for a whole nother time. If y'all want to hear it, let me know because I really like it like this. I'm kind of torn. So in relation to flat ironing, I still intend to get it flat ironed this January. I'm thinking by then it'll probably be like a little bob. It'll be a cute little bob that I can tuck behind my ear. Like, um, who is it who had that bob I saw? It was some girl on Instagram. She had a bob and it was beautiful. Um, my color will be by my six month trim, so a little bit after my birthday, August, September time frame. I'll probably just get it blonde. I wanna get two tones, but it depends on my length and depends on a couple other things. I might just have to get all one around color. So I prefer two tone though, to be honest, because I just don't like that harsh line on me, that harsh blonde line. And then like I said about my color, I think I want to get my hair colored twice a year. So every six months I want to touch up my color. Um, I don't want it to get out of hand like it did before. To be completely honest, I just don't want it to be that way. So 
That's my goal. My hairstylist is awesome. She knows how to dye my hair without bleach. And I know y'all are like, uh-uh. Hold up. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Seriously. No, but for real. Like, she knows how to dye hair without bleach and, like, from black to blonde. You know, like, that's, that's big. <laughs> y'all know that that's big. She doesn't bleach it and then stain it the color that I want it to be. She knows how to dye it that color. Uh, she used to be a colorist and a hair, um, uh, what do you call it? Hair teacher? Hair professor? Hair school, beauty school teacher? She used to be, yeah. So basically, um, she knows how to dye your hair without bleach. So natural girls in the Atlanta area, if you want some information, look down below, okay? And I will give you Alicia's information because she's awesome with what she does. So, yeah. Shout out to Alicia. Woo -woo. Oh, one more thing. As far as my deep conditioning goes and my hot oil treatment, I have to be completely honest with you all. I have not hot oil treatmented my hair or deep conditioned my hair since I've cut it. Now, mind you, I've had my hair cut for two weeks. Um, the deep conditioning process almost seems like a waste of my time. I feel like I barely have anything to be deep conditioning, but that's not true. I should be deep conditioning my hair anyway, because though this is new, it's about to be the oldest part of my hair in the coming months, and so I need to be deep conditioning now. So I need to do a better job. I'll probably start doing that once a week, um, to be completely honest. I'll take a Saturday and just do it. Um, and then my hot oil treatments, I haven't done those either. Those have been beneficial to me whenever I find myself having flakes on my scalp, which I've been doing hot oil treatments for years, and so I don't actually get like flaky scalp anymore. So those of you who are struggling with like dandruff and stuff like that, like nobody wants the corn flakes. Nobody wants to be looking like a head and shoulders commercial. You know what I mean? If that's your issue, I highly recommend a hot oil treatment or an oil pre-poo because I don't recommend like heating the oil up, wetting your hair first, none of that. Like if y'all want to know about how I do my hot oil treatments, I will definitely be happy to share. But Basically, I oil my scalp and my whole head every single night and put a cap on and go to sleep. So I feel like that suffices. And then I wake up and co-wash and blah, 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 blah. So I've been really into the wild growth oil ever since my hair started falling out. And it's really helped my edges to come back and my hair to thicken up. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, that's all I have for y'all today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm still trying to get the vibe. Like, I used to be really comfortable behind the camera, but it's been so long. And so I just, I still feel like I'm talking to a camera, kind of. And sometimes I don't know what to do with my hands or with my eyes. And I just watch so much YouTube and I see these girls doing their thing. Like, they're just so good and just so polished. And I want to get to that point. So if it's a little weird and awkward and choppy right now, I apologize. I find myself getting more comfortable as the video goes on, but in the beginning, I always feel like, hi, hi, this is love always endures. Like, I, it's always weird for me, but we'll get there. We'll get there, right? Thank you for watching. Appreciate it, and I will talk to y'all next week.